Hi everybody, this is John with MA Carbon and today we're going to be showing uh, how to deconstruct a Ferrari 430 steering wheel and uh, we'll eventually be building, moving the electronics from the customer wheel over to our carbon fiber wheel. So uh, here the customer shipped us this wheel, we're going to go ahead and start taking it apart. Normally if uh, we were caring a little more about the leather we would mask off the leather so that when we remove the center uh, we don't risk any damage but we will be reusing this wheel so all the leather will uh, be taken off so first thing you can see here you've got the electronic connectors inside you've got the manatino your start uh, switch there so the first thing we need to do is using one of our ma carbon install tools is get the horn buttons released so release that we're going to undo the clips here Pulling these out, so we've disconnected that. Then we're also going to be removing the other wires from the bracing back here at the back of the wheel. Like this, that. Then normally we would, like I said, we would uh, blue tape off the leather but on this wheel, again, it's definitely all going to be replaced. So at this point, just carefully pull on it, all three corners. It's held in, it's simply pushed in and held in by the leather. Out comes the center. Remember, uh, you, gotta be, you do have to be careful. Uh, Ferrari does not sell any of this separately from the wheel, so if you do break it, um, it's only about seven grand for a new one. Um, but this is probably our 15th or so wheel that uh, we've disassembled. All right, next uh, interesting thing, a lot of this is actually made in the US. Uh, did you, the, um, or it seems to be because a lot of it is uh, English. So we've got a Phillips here rather than the metric Torx. Uh, let's see, yeah, so we got that. We're gonna pull this off here. It's off here. So we can pull the cup off, disconnect the start button, pull that there. Then we do have to remove this uh, nut. So we'll get a tool for that. And then we're also then gonna be re removing the Mattatino pod. So you can see here, you've got an Allen on the uh, Mattatino switch that we'll have to undo that. Then once we have that, we have to remove the washer that's holding this in or the, the nut, and then we'll undo it. So uh, let us grab those tools and we'll be right back. All right, so first we're gonna remove the start button. So we take some channel Lock pliers, remove that, remove the nut. Unscrew it. Mm. We'll set the nut aside. Pull out the start button. Again, remember none of these are sold separately. Next is to do take out the Manatino. So it's a two millimeter Allen. Holding it here. Remember where you've got it right now, we're on sport. Loosen that. Remove your Manatino lever. And next you can see, this is pretty common. Uh, the sticker has bubbled, it's dirty, it looks pretty scratched and beat up. Uh, this again is a $7,000 sticker because Ferrari doesn't sell it. However, uh, MA Carbon does manufacture the sticker, so if yours is bad, uh, give us a call. So, next thing we're going to do is take our X-Acto knife, 
and cut the $7,000 sticker. Around the edge there. You could try to peel it up, but more than likely it's just gonna fall apart anyways. So it's just easier to cut it out. So uh, the Mattatino, we've removed the sticker, not necessary to do, is held in by this 3 8 nut here. MA Car Owen provides a specially modified thin wall 3 8 socket, um, as there's really no other way to get the um, retaining nut out. So we're gonna bring this down like this. Again, be careful um, doing it. You're gonna untighten. Unscrew it, and there you've got the retaining nut for the Mattino. So then, take the Mattino here, can undo the English English screws. U.S. non-metric screws on a Italian Ferrari. We've now removed the Mattatino from the center. And as you can see now, we have deconstructed our Ferrari 430 steering wheel into its component parts and we are ready to begin our build of the carbon fiber steering wheel. We'll have that. We'll be transferring um, the components to our carbon center, then installing the carbon center on the wheel and shipping it back to the customer.